sliding door has been giving me the irrits for weeks. I'll show you how to fix it, but first I've got to get some Panadol. My head is throbbing. Ooh Two Panadol later and I'm feeling much better. Thank God. Now this is the door, the sliding door, that's been giving me so much grief. And there's two issues that need to be sorted out with it. The first issue is the gap between the door and the door jamb. This door currently is in the fully closed position and you can see here that we've got a fairly large gap at the very top. And if you go down to the bottom of the door, you'll see that the door is touching the door jamb. So it's quite a big difference between the bottom and the top of the door. And the second problem is that the back of the door here is dragging along the track, making the door hard to open and close. So that needs to be attended to also. And the really good thing is, is that it can be fixed really, really easily just by adjusting the rollers on the bottom of the door. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's do it. As I mentioned before, one of the big issues with this door is that the back of the door is rubbing on the track, making the door hard to open and close. Now that problem can be easily alleviated simply by raising the back of this door up. Now assuming that your track's in good condition and that the wheels inside the door haven't got any lumps or bumps in them and the bearings aren't shot, that's just a simple matter of grabbing your Phillips head screwdriver, which is that one there. My glasses keep falling off. That's your Phillips head screwdriver there. Locating the hole at the back of the door, which houses your adjusting screw. Now, using the principle of righty-tighty, which is clockwise, we put the screwdriver inside that hole, locate the screw, there you go, I've got it. And now, turning clockwise, you'll raise that wheel which in turn will lift the door off that track. Now, as a tip, I always find it easier, if possible, to grab the door with your hand and lift it up a little bit, which takes pressure off the wheel. So we'll do that, lift the door up and turn the screwdriver clockwise, like that. And there you have it. The back of the door is now clear of the track which makes the door easy to open and close. Problem one fixed. Now let's sort out problem two, which is the gap between the door jam and the door itself. Let's do that. Okay, so I've adjusted that side there and I've raised the door off the track. Now you can see here how just by doing that, it has lessened the gap between the door and the jam. We just want to lessen that even more by adjusting this roller here. Now if we go lefty loosey, that will drop the door down there, which will in turn close that gap up up the top. So let's do that. Okay, let's just open this door up a little bit so I can access the adjusting hole. Put our screwdriver in on the spot, go lefty loosey, anti-clockwise, and I reckon that'll be just about right. Let's check it out. Okay, we'll give her a close, and it is touching at the bottom, and touching at the top. 
beautiful a bit of a gap in the middle but that'll be from a bend in the door jam itself and now it's time for the slide test let's give it a whirl Ooh, that's nice absolutely beautiful great tip knackers please if you thought this video was useful do the old thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel shane conlon one it's a button just here <laughs> click it like that it's free won't cost you a cent thanks for watching till next time cheers